who are you supporting in the California Senate race? I have not uh, formally taken a position. I'll be honest with you. I uh, think there are some strong candidates for different reasons. I obviously uh, have supported Dianne Feinstein for a number of years, and I think I have to tell you, I really do believe that she has had a brass backbone on a lot of important issues. Uh, Kevin DeLeon also has a lot of strengths, <clears throat> but um, I do worry a bit. Um, he hasn't been, he wasn't as nimble about stepping up on the uh, issues of uh, harassment of women in the in the Senate as I wish he had been. And I do worry about um, that. I know a number of people in the legislature that are concerned that um, he hasn't been as attentive to some issues that were before him. And he hasn't been as even handed with some of the members. So I'm leaning toward Feinstein. So Diane Feinstein, who is uh, a Democrat in name only, she's anti-single payer and very open about it. She takes corporate money. I mean, it, it seems like she is the total opposite of you in every way. Why would you be endorsing her? I, uh, you know, we go back a ways. I think Diane has been someone who has been this most articulate, strongest person on gun control in the United States Senate. She stood up and when one of the men made fun of her about supporting gun control and they said, what do you know about guns? She said, I, have you ever held a man's head in your lap as he bled to death because he'd been shot by a, by a gun. I, I think, you know, there are things that she has supported in terms of rights for women and families that I feel very strongly about. And uh, there, there's actually another woman running for Senate that I also am and, and drawn Alison to. Martin. Yeah. Alison and Martin. so I haven't, as I said, I have not made an endorsement. I think all of them have strengths and all of them have weaknesses. And that's why I haven't made an endorsement yet. I'm continuing to review. Well, I, I, I really hope you don't go for Dianne Feinstein. I, I, first of all, I think that could hurt you a lot. And uh, second of all, I mean, that, that story was very nice. And, and I'm sure she has done some okay things over the years. But uh, she is the total opposite of a progressive. And she is one of the, I mean, she's one of the things holding the Democratic Party back. Those types of politicians, uh, that's kind of what needs to go to kind of usher in a new era and I think we're in a position where the party either needs to be hijacked by progressives or we need a, a new party altogether. And politicians di like Dianne Feinstein, who literally uses, she uses right wing talking points to uh, poo poo on single payer. That's what needs to go. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she's yeah, a nice lady. Yeah. You're friends with her. Uh, I, I'm sure she, you know, she has some nice sp uh, speaking points on, on, on the gun issue. Which, although we haven't really seen, I mean, we still get a school shooting almost every other day. So, you know, I, I mean, nice stories are great, but until we see some real change in this country as far as gun policy, and there's so many things we could do. We could do stuff similar to what Australia does, stuff similar to what Switzerland does, a combination of thereof, uh, yeah. extensive background checks, uh, mandatory classes, uh, registration, as you pointed out, uh, ammo <laughs> regulation. I favor all of the above. I've not seen anything concrete uh, for her policy wise, Diane Feinstein. So, you know, yeah. nice stories be damn. I believe it where the proof's in the pudding. And, and Diane Feinstein is the opposite of a progressive. And I think if you endorse her, it will hurt you. I strongly encourage you not. To I, as I said, I have not made an endorsement, but it bothers me very much that Kevin DeLeon's roommate was one of the men that was harassing women, going to the front door in a towel to let young interns into his office, supposedly into his room, his apartment. Kevin said he knew nothing about it. Well, if my roommate was walking around in a towel, I might notice it. The bottom line is he- Yeah, I, there's three other, there's three great progressives in that race. There's uh, there's Allison Hartson, there's David Hildebrand, there's Pat Harris. I strongly encourage you to look into them because yeah. I know all three of them. I'd be happy to vote for any of those. That's uh, why those still you're excellent candidates. The other two, uh, you know how they're different than you? They take corporate money, Diane Feinstein and Kevin DeLeon. So uh, yeah, when there's five candidates and three of them are good, uh, two are eliminated real quick. And they're the two you mentioned. And and I'm still, that's why I'm still reviewing the other candidates. I said I had not yet made a decision. But, you know, I, I will tell you that I don't like the corporate money. And I that's why I'm not taking it. And I do worry about that. And so I am reviewing the other candidates for United States Senate as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. 
What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just get your news on with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.